Hall of Fame basketball coach Muffet McGraw, who's also made an impact not just on the university but on the whole community. She will be at the Hiller Family Midfield set with Joe Theismann. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate it. I am here with the coach that is really the coach of coach of coaches. Uh, has won more games than any other coach in Notre Dame history. Uh, the Kevin and Karen, uh, Karen and Kevin Keyes family head women's basketball coach, Muffet McGraw. Muffet, 888 wins. I've been here a long time. I feel like I came in with Newt Rockney. But you have, you know, that's almost the way you look at it. I mean, I, I look at, I'm just going through the, the, the statistics. 888 wins. You've earned uh, two national championships. Should have had a third, at least. Uh, a member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. The Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. And the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. There are no more Hall of Fames, Muffet. You're just like, you're, you're running out of Hall of Fames. That's, but it's just, it's, it's been an amazing run. And, and I think the first question I have to ask is, what do you believe is the key to your success? Well, that's simple. I have got a great staff. I have a, a tremendous staff that does all the work. I get to sit up here and take the credit for it, but they're doing the recruiting, the scouting. Uh, they're, they're working the players out individually. Uh, they do so much to help the program. And I've got a staff of all women, which I'm really proud of. Uh, they're doing great things. And I've had some really good players. You know, when you can graduate your starting five into the WNBA, I, I think we're getting really good players. And we're making them better when they're here. All right, that, I get, that's a double-edged sword. You brought it up, so I'll, I'll raise the question. <laughs> Okay. When you can graduate your starting five into the WNBA, you still have to go find five others to put on the court to replace them. <laughs> Do you look at this year with all the success you've had, like what, uh, seven of the nine years you've, you know, finished in the final four and competed in the final four? Is could this be the greatest challenge that you face from a personnel standpoint? You know, I think it will be, and I'm, I'm really excited about the challenge. I think that we have been a number one seed for the last eight or nine years, and there, there comes a little bit of stress with that. I think there's a little bit of expectations that are kind of weighing on you. You have to be good. When you win, you're not excited. You're relieved. And so this year, we're the underdog again, and it's a great place to be. Yeah, sure. You're gonna, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Muffet McGraw say, oh, yeah, sure. Well, you know, it's nice. No, that's not going to happen. No, I know. It's your basketball program. It's your basketball team, and you're in charge of it. You're not going to be an underdog. Everybody's going to look at you maybe a little different because yeah. certain players aren't there. As you look at this year, what do you consider the proudest moment? You know, I, I think there's so many. What they've accomplished, the resilience that we had last year losing four players to ACL injuries and winning a national championship. This year having the pressure of being number one from the beginning of the season, having to get back and try to win another championship. The, just the adversity they've overcome, the resilience they've shown, the work ethic, the com competitive nature. And I just love these are strong, powerful women. I, I've been meaning to ask you this, and I was, part of the reason I came back to host this and do this, because I wanted to interview you again. That's part of it. I wanted to ask you the question. When you, when that ball went through the hoop last year and you won the national championship, the look on your face was <laughs> one of my, this is me evaluating, like, holy mackerel, what just happened? I'm in shock. That is exactly Were you totally how I surprised. Felt. Totally. Because, you know, we overcame so much that year and it just seemed like nothing ever went our way. And then for that shot to go in and we win the national championship, I couldn't believe it. It, it even surpassed the week, the game before. It did. And you that know, was a pretty good one. That was, a, I was just going to say, well, you didn't have quite the same look on your face as you did. For I expected that one. to win that one. Oh, no, it was unbelievable. I mean, the ladies just time after time, it's, and, and even, even though you won it two years ago, the resiliency that they showed this year down in Tampa, being down by so many points and getting so close. I mean, it, it, it's just a, it's a credit to the women that, uh, that work with you, like you said, your staff, you, you as well. And uh, it's, it's fun, I just keep tweeting all the time. Love to watch the ladies play. <laughs> Love to watch the ladies it's play. It's that fighting Irish spirit, right? That's they what it is. Never it runs quit. through everybody. Just never quit. And it runs through everyone. You know, as we were saying, that game didn't come down to one shot at the end. That was a game that was 40 minutes of a couple of mistakes here and there. Yeah. Now, um, obviously, the five are going to graduate. And you're going to have to find some players. Do you look to transfers now? Or are you looking for recruits? Where do you think you're going to be able to find some players to fill out your roster? Yeah, we have two really good freshmen coming in, Sam Brunel and Anaya Peoples. But we are looking at the grad transfer because we need somebody right away. We, you know, we, we want some experience. We don't have any juniors and seniors on our team. So we need some experience. Somebody can come in with a little bit of leadership. We've got one guard already, Destiny Walker, and we're excited about a couple more kids that we're hoping to bring in. So you... Um, 
like we talked about the fact that you've had to deal with turnover, but never quite to this level. What do you tell a young group now? I mean, the, the foundation has been laid for great success. Mm -hmm. They're not dumb ladies. They see what's taken place. It's their opportunity. Exactly. Is that the way you That's the it? word we're using, opportunity. We have nobody that's coming in as a starter. Everybody has a job that's available, um, and they all have the potential. We've got some high school All-Americans. They sat on the bench, they watched what happened, and now hopefully they learned something from that. But they've been in the gym, I want to say, almost every day since the season ended. The thing is, is it's like you came here to Notre Dame for a reason. We wanted you here at Notre Dame for a reason. It doesn't make you any less the basketball player that you were that we recruited. It's just that you didn't quite have the opportunity to show yourself like we're going to give you now. I mean, it's got to be a hungry bunch of ladies. Oh, they really are hungry. And, you know, there's no comparison between a WNBA player and a freshman who's coming in for the first time. So they learned a lot. They worked hard. They really paid attention. Last question before we, I, I, I could sit here all day and talk to you, but I, they have me on a limited time limit. Um, any changes you'd like to see possibly in the NCAA women's game that you think would make it different or better? You know, we made changes just, just the last couple of years. We went to the quarter system and we have advanced the ball at the end of the game, which is so exciting. Just like the NBA and the WNBA, um, it makes the game really crazy with about three seconds left. It's how we won last year because we wouldn't have been able to do that if it was a full court game. So I like the changes they've made. They're looking now at possibly moving the three-point line back. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Going to move the three. They won't move the three-point line back in the NBA, but they'll move it back yeah. <laughs> for the ladies in college basketball. Right. Muff, it's so good to see you. You too, Joe. You're the best. Really a pleasure. Continued success. Thank Love you. seeing you. It's always great to see Muppet.